So tomorrow sees the very first ever director's breakfast. Which I'm very much looking forward to. You've got some really um, influential, high powered directors from all sorts of different sides of businesses uh, across Devon um, coming to this breakfast. And the idea really is that there's a lot of these kind of events out there that are very salesy, very marketing driven. Um, this isn't about that at all. This is about me speaking to other directors, director to director. This is what you need to do. This is what you need to look out for um, in my world. So hopefully it'll be very educational and um, yeah, hopefully it'll go down well, but I'll let you know. But anyway, that's not the reason for talking about that now. The reason for talking about that now is just very quickly, I wanted to pick up on a topic or part of a topic from tomorrow, which I think is really important to share. Um, and it's actually not from part of my presentation. It's also, it's from some slides that a good friend of mine, an HR lawyer, uh, has provided for me. <clears throat> so this is about, you as a director, if you run a business, um, being what's called vicariously liable for the actions of your staff on their social media channels. Let me go through that again. You, if you employ people, you are vicariously liable for the actions of them on their personal social media. It's quite scary. So something they do or in their own time, on social media could be held against you. So there's a few things that you need to take away from that. One, get a good social media policy. Two, make sure you've got a good, uh, some good advice around HR law, um, and particularly that your social media policy dovetails into your other policies as well. And three, ensure that you don't just have a social media policy but that you train on it as well because if you ever do get caught short and you can say well actually you know not only have we got a policy but we also train on it then you're less likely to get into trouble later on um so yeah very very quick that really it didn't go into a huge amounts of detail it's not my area i'm not a solicitor so you know don't hold that against me but i just thought it was very interesting these slides and something i'm going to talk about very quickly tomorrow so if you want to know more anyway, um, tap me up and I'll put you in touch with my friend because he knows far more than me about this subject. And until then, I'll see you next time.